everyone, I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. In today's game, time of possession should be a factor. The Ravens are top 10 in converting on third down, and they'll be up against the Redskins defense that wants to get off the field. Larry, thanks. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Inner Harbor at m and Bank Stadium in Baltimore, Maryland. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Washington Redskins and the Baltimore Ravens. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. start the drive and the Raven pressure too much down he goes and we say it all the time have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that you have to help your offensive line out they're going to protect you as best they can and if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball they're doing a really nice job but when you hold it and give up a sack you're really almost discrediting their work and he's unable to grab it Thought he might have had position, couldn't hold on, third down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. And I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? So they jumped on the left side of that line. And you know when you're at the end spot, you are like in the starting blocks, waiting for the pistol to fire and go, and he jumped a little bit too early. And this opening drive not going to plan. This is now third and 13. Here we go now. They'll set up a throw. Going up top. He's got a man. Complete. And he's brought down, but not before getting across midfield to the 45. That one will go down as 33 yards on the third down conversion. Green, 39. Back to throw here. And he is out of bounds, just a yard or two shy of the 30. Back to back, nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. That's a matchup. Maybe they go back to their outer third of the field as this game continues. Yeah, I think back to my high school coach, John Ford, he used to say when we got big plays early in a game or good plays, you know, he'd say, foul it away, lad. Foul it away because he'd want to come back to it later in a key situation. They may come back to this one a little more often than that. Didn't he say laddie or did he say lad? Yeah, it just depend on what he was feeling at the okay. moment. Okay, I thought, I thought that was the guy you told me about that used to say laddie a lot. Laddie? When you heard laddie, he was usually in a pretty good mood. Lad? Yeah. So second down, three yards to go now. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Here we go now. Three, nine, nine. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. They lost two there, and it's third down. Count me as a little bit surprised by what we just saw there because this has been a pretty long drive. And normally you think that wears down a defense. In this case, look like the offensive line let him down a little bit. They allowed the penetration and the ability to stuff him. Under a heavy rush and down he goes. But that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly he was there. In a blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big sack. And this one is right down the middle. And it's 3-0 as the Redskins strike first. 
A little bit of a lower trajectory there on the deep kick, and it worked. Had to do it because he had to drive it out low because of the length of the kick. Able to do that, got it above the defense and over the post. Get a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. scrimmage no gain on the play and it's going to bring up a third down well, at least he was able to break that initial contact or it could have been a loss yeah give credit to the defensive player though what did he do made him slow down slow up his feet and allowed the rest of the guys to get there to finish him off he'll look to throw he can't avoid the pressure redskins get there great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. He gets us away. It's a good one. Drawing toward the sidelines. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. The Redskins offense now. They head back onto the field. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. Mm -hmm. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. to throw now on first down. Room to run inside the 40. Completes it to Blunt. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Defensively, they just lost him. He was waving his arms saying, I'm wide open. They found him. Yeah, and it's so interesting about when a receiver starts to wave his arms because some guys right off the line of scrimmage, they declare themselves open. You know, those guys throw the one arm up, right. hit me right now. In this case, he was so wide open that he was frantically trying to get his attention to make sure he got the football. And then I'm sure his only thought when the ball was in the air, don't drop it. Had too much time to think. And a nice gain of 21 yards. This offense can certainly move quickly when they want to. Three plays, three pass completions. In the blink of an eye, they've got a first and goal. Almost felt like a lightning bolt hit in this game, didn't it? For them to get downfield that quickly. And now first and goal, expect them to attack right here on this play. And he gets them a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And yeah, now they're looking for the big boys to get them in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive. But they'll be able to revert and fire out and create some space in the run game. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. So they're back at the seven now for third and goal. Looking to throw. And he can't quite intercept it. Zone coverage, free safety was there. Couldn't come up with it, and now it's fourth down. 
It's a great job by this secondary. When I watch them, they remind me of elite defenders on a basketball court, right? They want to contest each and every pass. Great contest on third down to bring up fourth. So that scores now on their first two possessions, but it's 6 nothing. probably not the kind of scores they were hoping for. No, not at all, but I think that they've shown that they can have some success against this defense. So they'll go back to the sideline knowing the points are going to be there for the taking. Here comes the Raven offense now, ready for another possession. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically, what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. time of the tailback trying to run inside but nothing there no gain on the play there so they're left with a third down and six and as a defensive end getting off the ball quickly swarming to the football making a tackle that's what we saw right there yeah and that's what their job is and really a lot of the time they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends are like in a sprinter stance they're just headed straight for the quarterback that was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain For the offense lining up first and ten. Here we go now. No, 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 no. Check. Patriot. Patriot. Watch him now, Barney. Barney. Now a play fake here on first down. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Charles, Thursday night game, I think a lot of teams probably say shrink the playbook somewhat. Is that correct? I think you're right about that because you just don't have the amount of time that you have in a normal week to put in a full playbook. So as you said, you shrink the playbook, pick out the plays that work best for you, and you know what else you're looking for? What's that? Who are the freshest guys coming off of the last game to play on a Thursday night? Guys have a little extra pep in their step. You go to them early and often. Now a handoff here to his running back. That is not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And all of a sudden here, it's third down. They'll set up to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Powers. The Raven passing game getting in sync. Another first down. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. A gain of four on the play, and that'll make this a second down. Hurry up, here we go. Boom, there Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll go down at the 28. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? Again, he'll drop the throw. And he will find his man on the outside. A gain of eight and a first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. 
No gain on the play there. It'll be second down. So nothing there on the screen that time. That means all that great acting they tried on offense went for naught, didn't it? Because you have to try and influence them. Make them think that you're doing something else. Make them think that they can get to the passer by letting them by and then setting up the screen and getting downfield. Didn't happen at all. Give a lot of credit to the defense for not tumbling to that one. And he'll give it here to his running back. Even with that broken tackle, he'll be brought down short of the 15. Call it a gain of four, and it'll leave him with a third down and six to go. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. The Ravens on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This will be third and six. They'll look to throw. And this is caught. Touchdown, Baltimore. And partner, they found a gap there on the post pattern, and it was in the middle third of the field. And that's really difficult to do because ordinarily the safeties are back there to prevent that happening. But they found the opening and exploited it. Here's Tucker now out to kick this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. And here come the Redskins now. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. He put it through the post. That's going to help him the contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped them the contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. Toe bash. I don't know about that. Toe bash. <laughs> Super toe. <laughs> it outside but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage no gain on the play there so that doesn't help now they're looking up at a third and nine situation the Redskins on third down just one for three thus far this is third and nine now back to throw nowhere to go here he lost the football on plays like this where the ball comes free it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. And this one goes angling out of bounds, and it will be spotted inside the 30-yard line. The Ravens offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look foolish. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. It's a pickup of 11 at a Baltimore first down. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. They go play action here on first down. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. So they took a shot on first down but couldn't connect. Fans do love the long ball, don't they? And he already found his guy once. Tried to give him another chance there, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Couldn't connect. But as you alluded to, he does have that touchdown from earlier trying to keep him in the rhythm. Let's go! They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll push his way up to about the 44 here. A minute 58 to go in this first half of play. We're back to Baltimore after this. Yeah. 
And on third and eight, defensively, they're going to beef up the secondary. Six defensive backs. territory just across midfield at the 49. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. They're going to look to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Powers. And he gets it to the 34, good enough for the first. That's good for a Raven first down, 15 yards there. to the 34-yard line. And before the second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. As they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. So now 11 yards to go for this offensive unit. It's second down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And some room to maneuver. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. That second down run, a big help. The seven yards leaves him with just a third and three now. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Now a handoff here to his running back. A great effort there to shed the contact. And it helps him pick up the first. They're just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. Back to throw. Got a man. It's caught for a Ravens touchdown. And that lead is now seven with a chance to go to eight or more if they want to get crazy here, which we don't expect. But I just know the way the game's being played, the analytics, there's going to be a lot more of going for two in a lot of situations, isn't there? Yeah, there's going to be. And I think their focus here, they don't want to give up anything going into the lockers on the other end. Just a little bit of time left on the clock. Yeah, they don't want to do anything to erase the good feeling they have right now by getting this late score in the half. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. Now the Redskins offense, they get set to go back to work here. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you've got to figure... If something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. And Blunt has it. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. As the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. Picked off near the 34. And he will bring this back. It's a pick six and a Raven touchdown. A short throw pick six right there. Those linebackers, they love when those short throws come and those eyes get real wide, don't they? How about the anticipation on the play? Reading, reacting, and then the ability to catch the football and take it in the opposite direction. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. 
And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee, and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on it at second down. But I guess that answers the question whether or not they want him throwing it again right away after throwing the pick six on the previous drive. Yeah, not something conservative or underneath. Pretty big shot right there. Get him right back in the saddle and say, go ahead and sling it, big guy. Back to throw now on second and ten. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete. But the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. So here we go, first and ten now. They'll drop the throw. Looking deep downfield. And that's incomplete. Clock stops with 10 seconds left. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. And that is caught. Touchdown, Washington. Well, this could be a big turnaround. They get the touchdown here in the final moments of the second quarter. And remember, Charles, they're going to get the ball to start quarter number three as well. So what you're saying is if they take the ball down to start the second half and score again, it could change the entire complexion of this game, couldn't it? Absolutely. Now it's Murray to kick this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock. And the Redskins do get to him. He goes down for a sack. So we're at halftime here in the Inner Harbor with the hometown Ravens on top as we send you down to our EA Sports Studios in Orlando where we find our man Larry Ridley with our halftime report. So both teams have their marching orders and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Out come the Ravens now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They have the lead now. They'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Good positioning, and it's picked off. And he will bring it out past the 20-yard line. First possession in the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. It's a lot of contact going on there. And in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. Second down following the incompletion. And now here's a carry heading left. And the window closes quickly. He'll only get up to the 22-yard line. Only a yard of the pickup there, so it leaves him needing a conversion here on third and a tough nine. Uh, 
They'll look to throw here. And this is going to be incomplete. It's always tough for the guys throwing the football when they think they've got a completion and the ball's almost there, and then someone sneaks a hand or two in and bats it away. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action. I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. to the 29-yard line brought down there. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. The Ravens on third down. They've been very good, five for seven thus far. This is third and seven. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Wells. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. It goes as a gain of eight and it moves the chains. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. He's going to air one out. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Coverage was very good that time. A nice job to smother him as the ball arrived, and that ensured an incomplete pass. And it keeps six points off the board. Unable to connect on the first down pass play. Now it's second down. A handoff as they run the counter play. Room to run past midfield, and he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. A big one there for the Ravens. It goes for 18. And he'll give it here to his running back. And down to the 36-yard line here. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. On second down, they'll try and run the counter. <laughs> Fighting him off. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. yardage back to the 29 it's a loss of a yard there and now second down and when you're trying to set up a counter play that's what a lot of people call an influence play you're really hoping those defensive linemen are really agile that day if they look if they stayed out late the night before the game and they're not moving as fast it's a lousy call because that means they're just going to sit in the hole right, now, that you have to create just by the movement of your offensive line and there they got the ball to the outer third of the field but tackled behind the line of scrimmage yeah things get stacked up in there if they don't move as well as you want them to and probably just trying to escape and couldn't get away six yards is the pickup and that'll lead to a third down Looked like the screen pass was taken away there, and that was a nice job of improvising, but it's not normal. 
usually when a screen pass is taken away, you're taught to just throw the ball at the ground at the feet of the receiver so that you don't get it intercepted and just start over. But he ended up finding another receiver. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Well, the numbers have been good in the passing game and certainly a big reason why they have the lead. But now here, third quarter, maybe go to the run game a little more? Yeah, perhaps. I mean, after that incompletion, a little credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play. Maybe you try and run the football a little bit more in this spot. But they have to feel good about how they've been throwing it overall. And that field goal caps at 11 play drive. It's a lot of offense to run to only get three points, but they'll take them. Anytime you can put anything on the board, you run to your sideline somewhat happy. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Now a handoff as they run left side. And a nice run past the 30-yard line there. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. And to give this time to the tailback. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. The Redskins on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. Here it's third and three. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. And now whistles and a flag. And I think we got a jump here. So they got him coming up from his linebacker spot. And sometimes the position designation really doesn't matter. If you creep up to the line of scrimmage, you just have to look for the football. Make sure it moves before you do. And now here's a carry heading left. And he's got some space here. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Rush coming, and he's taken down. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Now a shotgun snap as they look to throw. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. My man, it's been a rough night for that offensive line, and it's only getting rougher. Five sacks now that they've given up in this contest so far. It feels like the witching hour out here, doesn't it? Okay, stupid question. What's the witching, witching hour? Yeah, the witching hour. That's when everything goes haywire late at night. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. And that's caught inside the 30. That goes as a gain of 36 on third down. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out, incomplete. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. Back on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Here we go. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And only able to muscle. 
muster a couple down to about the 27. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. Did they maybe play that too safely on third down? I know you don't want to just throw a ball blindly downfield, but that didn't help them a whole lot. I think they probably said if it's open, take the shot. If not, get something safe because we do have fourth down to try and pick it up. All right, so you needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal then maybe not exactly what they wanted, but it's a necessary first step. Still plenty of time remaining, but you could really use a stop defensively after the kickoff, preferably a three and out. Fielded about a yard deep. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that one. That doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, it's caught inside the 25. A big play that time for the Ravens. 58 yards. A great job pulling that one in from a guy, as we know, who can really blaze. He's got a lot of speed. And that speed can work for him so many different ways. Sometimes he just takes off and goes and just runs past people. Sometimes you get people to back off so far. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Danny Shelton coming up the middle. Gets him there for a loss of about nine. Intercepted. Picked off by Fabian Moreau. It's a foot race. The 40. He's at the 30. 10. And he will bring this one back. It's a pick six for a Redskins touchdown. Charles, we've seen him target one of their main weapons time and time again. Maybe they went to that well too many times there. Yeah, and it's so difficult to determine how many times is too many because how many times have we seen a team go and play and say, until they stop us, we'll keep going. Well, they got stopped on that one, and it cost them six points. Hurry up, here we go. Green, 30. Watch it now, Barney, Barney. They'll look to throw, and he fires one incomplete. And a failure to convert and tie the game. Now the pressure shifts back to the defense. But I think it was the right play. I think it was the right call to try and tie the game there. Kick an extra point, you're still down one. What's the sense? I, I like what they did. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll wind up getting an extra couple yards here for his trouble as he'll bring this one out to the 27. The Ravens offense now, they get set to head back on the field. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. They'll run it now out of the gun. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time 
Teams reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. Another incompletion would certainly be ideal defensively. A big play now. This is third and ten. Intercepted. Picked off at the 45. And this one will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. Well, they're not making it easy on themselves here down the stretch. Two picks now in the fourth quarter trying to hang on to that lead. Talk about keeping someone in the game. Instead of being able to shut the door, it's still cracked open because they can come back on you now. Boy, people are really happy about those picks. Any fantasy team that has this defense. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Well, a well-executed blitz, no doubt. Great job by the linebacker. Maybe the quarterback, if he could have seen that, could have audible there. Yeah, he needed to be in a different play because that one just meshed perfectly for the defense. All the gaps were filled, except for the one the offense really wanted to run through, and that was filled by a big man wanting to make a tackle. And he made a great tackle. He's going to air one out. And they went for a big play through the air on second down. Couldn't connect. Now it's third. Tremendous field position there and a perfect time to do exactly what they did. Take a shot at the end zone. And they went for the big play, just unable to complete it. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. All right, here we go. Three and 19. Three and 19. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. And he'll get nothing out of that one. Nothing doing on that one, and it'll be fourth down. Pass complete. But no gain. No yards. Yeah. So you file that as unsuccessful. Yeah, you do, don't you? Except on the stats, throwing the ball. You get a completion. You get a catch. Yeah. But still, no, no yards. yardage. Okay. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. And with that, they have taken the lead by a point here in the fourth. So the drive here ends with a field goal, and that does give them the lead, but this one is still a long ways from over. And you love to be able to look up at the scoreboard and see that you're out in front, but then you take one look across the field and see that offense is raring to come back out, and you think, I don't know, the field goals are going to be enough to get us home. And now here come the Ravens. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays. Oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. So this offense really needs to make something happen here late in the fourth with the football. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays at that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Time for a break. We'll come back, see what transpires after this. Both teams working on short rest, but this has been one of the better Thursday night games we've seen as they come up here on first and ten. Back to throw. Looking right sideline, that's complete. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. Lucky 56, lucky 56. All right, here we go. Detroit! Detroit! Oh, Lampert! Lampert! Here we go! No, 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 no! Check! Now a handoff 
here to his running back. Oh, he's got a little daylight. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Probably had 60,000 thinking pass right there, including us in the booth. Yeah, no doubt about it. That was a big call, big guts on that one. And guess what? That run, it'll pay dividends. They run the counter now on first down. And that play is blown up. Losing yardage back at the 35. The loss of a full three yards. And now it's second down. He'll look to throw. Buying time to his left. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. So two plays with only negative yardage to show, and now it's third and 16. Back to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Powers. And now we're going to get a timeout called by the Redskin defense. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. All right, so time to reset here. It's a huge kick there. Gives them the lead, but they've got to be careful that their celebrations aren't a little too premature. You're exactly right about that because there still is time for the other guys to run a few plays and get into field goal position. So this defense is going to need to come up with one final stop if they're going to get out of here with a victory. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. They're only in need of a field goal, a decent amount of time on the clock. So... Tell me if I'm wrong. You don't have to be too panicked here. No, not at all. I agree with you. And this is where your preparation and your confidence comes into play. They've worked on these situations. Yeah, they all the time. They practice it all the time. They know what they want to get done. And in a lot of cases, the great competitors, they love this situation. They think they can go ahead and get it done. They practiced it. We'll see if practice makes perfect. It'll be a loss of one, and it'll be second and 11. Here comes the D swarming to the line. They'll look to throw. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. And before they can run this third down play, we're going to get a timeout. As they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. The Redskins on third down, lacking much success. Just two for seven to this point. This time it's third and three. He's back to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 23 yards on the play. They'll set up a throw. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. The positioning here is key. As a defensive back, you're taught 99% of the time make a play on the football. But in this case, making a play on the man was all the difference. That's what forced the incompletion. Second down here after the incomplete pass. And now with four seconds left, we get a timeout call. So they're still at the original line of scrimmage here. Second down and 10. shot they'll look to throw and a quick throw here that's complete four yards on the completion and it sets up a third down it didn't check off every box 
but the most important one. Got the clock stopped, getting out of bounds. They may be a little short of the first down, but I thought that was the key. And now we'll get a timeout here. They're able to stop it with one second to go in this game. Big third down, a field goal from this spot, 57 yards as they hope to move it a little closer. And now we'll get a timeout here. They're able to stop it with one second to go in this game. So now it's all up to the right leg of Patrick Murray. This from long, very long range. And this doesn't get there. It's no good. They had to go for it, but their final effort here is going to come up short. Well, I know it points to this when you wanted to close your eyes because of all the points that were being put on the scoreboard, you're a defensive guy, but it was a fun little track meet, wasn't it? It was, and you know the people who really enjoyed this game? They're the ones that like going to batting practice at the Major League Baseball <laughs> parks, right? Seeing the 14-11 to 11 game, that sort of deal, that's right up their alley with what we saw in this one. So for Baltimore... The win here means it'll be a 7-1 first half of the season. And they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week before they get back at it again. Meanwhile, for the Redskins, they fall a game under the 500 mark at 3-4 through seven games. And they'll look to get back in the winning column next week as they head to Philly to face off with the Eagles. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Ravens are victorious here as we say so long from Baltimore.